Hello, Sophie here from Brospology. I hope you're doing well. In this quick video, I'm going to walk you through how to pick a niche for your freelance medical biz medical writing business in just five minutes. I want you to choose a niche because it is so important to help you stand out when you're first getting started. Doesn't mean you have to stick with it forever or you can't change it or you can't broaden your offerings further down the line. But finding a niche in the beginning is really important for your positioning and the strength of your brand. So I'd like you to answer these four questions and it will make it much, much easier for you to choose a niche. First question I want you to answer is what do you have the most knowledge about? So looking at it purely from a knowledge standpoint, what did you study? What courses have you done? What have you been reading about? That's what I'm talking about. So whatever comes to mind, write those things down. Then start another list. What do you have the most experience in? Think about the writing that you've done, any kind of writing, any kind of communications, whether it's an email list or a blog or things that you wrote for patients or colleagues or peers, any writing experience that you have and any experience that you have in healthcare as well, whether it's in a certain disease state or a certain ward that you worked on or you manage a particular type of caseload, only list experience there. Thirdly, I want you to list the therapeutic areas that you're most interested in. So ignoring everything else and purely thinking about what you're interested in. So what do you most enjoy learning about? What would you like to learn more about? If you hear about something, are you more likely to listen? If you see something that somebody else has done, do you think, oh, I'd love to do that? So which therapeutic areas are you most interested in? It could be because you yourself have a condition that you, you know, you have a personal reason to learn more about it or somebody that you're close to has a certain condition or, um, you know, whatever it may be. Just think about the interest and nothing else. And then the fourth list that I want you to write is which types of projects are you most confident at producing? So only thinking about your confidence. How strongly do you believe that you could carry out the scope that is being asked of you? And so this could be the types of projects as in like the types of deliverables for example, script writing or infographics, or it could be the therapeutic area that you would be writing about. Um, either one is fine. Just make sure that whatever comes to mind, it's only the confidence that you have in carrying out those writing tasks that you are thinking about. And then when you have your four lists, it's much easier for you to see the bigger picture, see if there are any connections between these lists, which ones are coming up most frequently, which ones are you being pulled towards in terms of, oh, this keeps coming through, this comes through in, in all of these areas or in several of these areas, that's what your niche should be. So I hope you have found this helpful. If you want to share your niche with me or anyone else watching this, please do in the comments below. If you need any additional support in establishing yourself as a freelance medical writer or in determining your niche, do let me know because I may be able to help.